Hey everyone, welcome to another video guide for Umbrella. In this one, we're gonna go through her gameplay. So if you've watched my other gameplay guides before for other characters, it's gonna be in the similar vein. And for those of you who are new, this video is basically um, a very short and simple guide to get you started on using Umbrella. Umbrella has a lot of combo routes that is very extensive, and I'm not gonna go through them because I think other people have done a really good job at them, so you can watch those videos instead. However, what I'm gonna show you is something that is simple, hits hard, and low hit count. And this is important because low hit count is actually the name of the game here. The more combos you deal to the opponent, the more likely you're gonna activate their defensive signature ability. Just think about Resident Evil, for example. You don't wanna deal too much combos against that guy. The lower, the better. So that's gonna be the, uh, the main gameplay I'm gonna show for this video. But if you're interested in those kinds of combo showcases going through like a hundred different combo routes for Umbrella, you can check out these videos that I found online. They're very good, they're very impressive, but they're often usually not very practical against the AI. Against the AI, there's usually a lot of stress, you're trying to kill them really, really fast. So you want something that is very simple but still deals a lot of damage, and that is what I'm going to show you today. So without further ado, let's go to the training mode. Alright, let's first re review her moves real quick. I did make a whole video on just her moves, so please do watch that if you haven't seen it yet. But for this, this is the moveset that I really recommend. You want Bobble and Bubble, Slurp and Slide, Acid Reflux, and the two slots is usually free, but you definitely want Tongue Twister because it's such a powerful blockbuster. And the last one is really up to you. If you're using variants with Puddles and Bubbles, you can, wear, uh, you can use Under the Weather, or you can also equip another slurp and slide for more damage or even feeding time which is still a very powerful and nice level 3 blockbuster. So this I would say is a very generic and really simple uh, moveset to use and we're just going to showcase how and why these moves are really good together. Alright, before we talk about her moves and blockbusters, let's first talk about her j basic umbrella attacks. Let me show you what it lo looks like if for those of you who don't have Umbrella yet. So if I tap five times, it's gonna look like this and ends with an umbrella, umbrella spinning attack. Let's repeat that again. Tap five times and Umbrella will spin her Umbrella attack. That's gonna be the end of the ground combo. If I'm in Ravenous, this actually deals a lot more hits. See, now it deals 11 hits instead of eight. Now for the air juggle. So if I swipe up and just continue to tap, Umbrella's gonna do those kinds of number of hits and deal 14 hits. That's a lot of hits. So if I combine it with my ground combo and then juggle, 22 hits, very easy and already deals a lot of hits. While I'm in Ravenous, of course it's gonna add up again. Twenty-five hits just from a ground and air combo. So again, Umbrella can deal a lot of combos, and that's usually not what you want against defenders like Resonant Evil. So here's an alternative. On the third tap, you swipe up and then immediately use Boblin Bubble and Slurp and Slide. Okay, that's what we're gonna do, and I'm gonna showcase you how it looks like. So tap three times, swipe up, Boblin Bubble, Slurp and Slide. Easy eight hit combos, and it already inflicts armor break and deals a lot of damage. Let's do that again. One, two, three, swipe up, bubble and bubble, slurp and slide. That's gonna be the bread and butter. This bubble and bubble and slurp and slide combo is gonna be the bread and butter and something you want to spam against the AI as much as possible. Now, what are the other blockbusters doing? Acid Reflux is a really strong blockbuster. It allows you to trap the opponent. It's very easy to combo with, allowing you to again spam another Bubbling Bubble and Slurp and Slide combo. That's gonna be the main use of that blockbuster. So this is what it's gonna look like in one combo string. So tap three times, swipe up, Bubbling Bubble, Slurp and Slide. You can use Acid Reflux here to trap the opponent. And if you have another Bubbling Bubble and Slurp and Slide, you can use both of them again as well. Unfortunately, I have Feeding Time and Tongue Twister here, so I cannot use them. Tongue Twister, I think, can combo well as a combo ender, but it really depends on the opponent you're facing. So why do I equip these two command grabs? Because Tongue Twister is really powerful, it's a ranged command grab, and heals you, deals slime, and it's just easy to use 
even if the opponent is blocking. Feeding time as well is, a, is very similar. It's a Blockbuster 3, so it's gonna deal tons of damage. But of course, these two are optional, although Tongue Twister, I think, is very, very strong. So let's just review that again. Swipe up, Bobblin Bubble, Flip and Slide, Acid Reflux, and then you can do just more combos here. Now instead of Feeding Time and Tongue Twister, I could also equip another set of Bobblin Bubble and Slurp and Slide, and we can all use these special moves and Blockbuster Acid Reflux in one combo string to deal tons of damage, and I'm gonna show you how it looks like. Alright, so first it's gonna be the same. We tap three times, swipe up, bubble and bubble, slurp and slide. We can do a bit more combo here, and then use Acid Reflux. And then while the opponent is trapped in a bubble, we can again use bubble and bubble and another slurp and slide. So that's gonna be the combo string. Very easy and very simple to use, and it's gonna deal a lot of damage. While the opponent is trapped, we can again do another Bubblin Bubble and Slurp and Slide combo. Okay, let's try this against the AI. Alright, since we're fighting against Dreamcatcher and she doesn't really care how much combo hits we, um, we deal, so we can just go ham here and just go through all the full ground and air combo without getting punished. Bubblin Bubble, Slurp and Slide, Acid Reflux, and then use Bubblin Bubble and Slurp and Slide again. Right, we just killed one of them. So one thing I forgot to mention is that when you use Acid Reflux, you gotta wait uh, for the bubble to be near the ground before you start attacking. So we have to wait in here, now we attack. If you don't do that, the opponent is gonna block and you're gonna miss your shot. So just keep that in mind. We gotta do, wait a bit. The weakness of this moveset is of course you don't have any command grab, so you kind of have to wait for the opponent till for an opening before you can do anything. It's the reason why I still think Tongue Twister is a blockbuster that you definitely need to have. Alright, the final moveset I want to show is one that uses Under the Weather. And this is really helpful for variants that utilize Puddles and Bubbles for their abilities like Puddle Pirate and Tidal Traveler. Of course, we're still using the core four moves here, Bubble and Bubble and Slurp and Slide. Acid Reflux is just super good for Puddle shenanigans as well. And Tongue Twister is overall a just solid command grab that can save you in a lot of different situations because it can attack the opponent even if they are blocking. Now, one thing you need to know about Under the Weather is that it's not really a blockbuster that you use to combo with. It's mostly a setup blockbuster because and you kind of have to set it up in a very certain way. Because if you just use it like this, it's not going to do anything to the opponent. It might damage it from the bubbles falling down, but it's not going to do a whole lot. Under the Weather works best when the opponent is in the air. So you swipe up, use Under the Weather, and it's going to flung the opponent into the corner. So one combo string could look like this. You do the same as always, Ball and Bubble, Surf and Slide, Acid Reflux. And then you swipe up, use Under the Weather in the corner. And then while the opponent is getting up, use Tongue Twister for some damage. And then ending it with a Slurp and Slide and possibly even another Acid Reflux. Resulting in another puddle in the corner that you can use Under the Weather here again. So don't pay attention too much about Under the Weather, it's not really a blockbuster that you combo with, it's just there to set up um, puddles, and Acid Reflux can already do that as well, as you see here. Alright, so if there's anything you need to learn about this video, is that equip command grabs like Tongue Twister because it's very powerful, it heals you, and it allows you to be aggressive even if the AI is blocking. Feeding time is very optional, you can easily change this to another Bubble and Bubble or Slurp and Slide for more damage here. But I do like my feeding time because as soon as it's charged up, you can just tap it, it deals automatically a huge amount of damage while also, again, healing you as well. Acid Reflux 
Boblin Bubble and Slurp and Slide is like the trinity of Umbrella's movesets, I feel like. They're very easy to combo with, and they can deal a lot of damage as well, while still maintaining that low hit count number. Alright guys, so that's gonna be the end of this video. Hope you learned something useful here. Again, this video is not meant to showcase a 100 plus hit count combo because Umbrella can do those really, really easily. And personally, I don't think they're very practical to do against the AI while you're under stress. The moves that I've shown you are very intuitive. It's very simple to use, can adapt to a lot of situations, very flexible. And I think it's just an overall solid generic moves that can work against most things. If you found this video useful, then please do give it a like as it's gonna help me out a lot. Let me know in the comments below about what you think. Maybe there's other movesets that are still very good that I completely missed out on and is still very practical against the AI. With that said, thank you so much for watching guys. Stay tuned for more Umbrella content and hope to see you in the next video.